My coverage of CES 2023 is brought to you by Gigabyte, Asus, Kioxia, and Cooler Master. See the sign up there? It says Be Quiet, because I'm now visiting Be Quiet here at the Bellagio. They have a handful of products to show off, and they also, they, they teased me with some stuff that they have coming perhaps later in the year towards Computex. We've been talking a lot about Computex here at CES, because a lot of people who have just come to CES for the first time are really excited about that show too. But I'm sort of getting off topic a little bit. Let's check what they have out here at the show. Did that make sense? So we're going to talk about uh, some power supplies and we're going to talk about some cooling solutions over here and they now have all white versions of their Lightwings fans. Look at that. I've worked with the Lightwings fans before. I think they have a nice classy RGB implementation with the ring and uh, these have been available in black for quite some time. Now they're available in white as well. They're going to be coming in three packs only, but that means you're also going to get this controller and nice attention to detail by Be Quiet. The controller itself is also all white and even the connecting cable because if you're building an all white build, you, you want it to be all white. If it's all white, it's all right. No, that's not right. Never mind. Never mind what I just said. So that'll keep you from getting uh, distracted by other potential colors that might sneak in there. But I also wanted to point out that these fans are very high quality. Be Quiet fans across the board are really nice and hence the name Be Quiet. They stay very silent while also performing quite well. So having these available with the RGB and in all white is very nice. 120 millimeter and 140 millimeter. Here's an interesting new development. Uh, Be Quiet has had DC1 thermal grease for quite some time. They have updated that. DC2 is available now. If you'd like an upgrade from the stock paste that ships with your almond liquid cooler or air cooler, uh, consider upgrading to DC2. You'll get better performance. And they're also diving into the realm of liquid metal with the DC2 Pro. Liquid metal thermal grease. This is sort of in another class versus your traditional thermal grease because it's conductive and you're gonna need to take care to apply it properly. But uh, Be Quiet is now offering this as well and it comes with a kit with applicators and everything. Here is the product that I'm kind of most excited about for this because I don't know if you watched my video on AMD, but they just announced a bunch of new processors, including three new 65 watt TDP Ryzen 7000 series processors, the 7900, the 7700, and the 7600. Those are gonna be quite reasonably priced and those do sh ship with stock coolers, but these would be a great option to swap that stock cooler out for potentially, especially if you're building a mini ITX system. This is the Pure Rock LP, it's rated for up to 100 watt TDP processors, so it would be more than adequate for a 65 watt TDP CPU. Uh, of course, you get a really high quality uh, Be Quiet fan there on top. As you can see, there's a nice copper plate down there on the bottom for contact with your CPU. And these support pretty much all modern mainstream uh, sockets. So of course, they got AM5 support as well as Intel LGA 1700. And this one is actually already out and available on the market, so uh, you can you could buy them right now. It's just something that I hadn't had a chance to see in person before, so I thought I'd share it with you guys as well. We also have some power supplies over here. Be Quiet makes really high quality power supplies and they are updating them yet again. This is the Pure Power 12M, just fully modular, uh, up to 1000 watts of juice and uh, the 1000 watt uh, version of this, I believe retails for in the uh, $180 range. M of course means modular. This power supply has been available for a little while already, but they have recently updated it to support. Guys, don't get scared, don't get scared. 12VH power. Yeah, that's a PCIe 5.0. A connector for your 600 watts of juice to be provided uh, to pretty much NVIDIA graphics cards right now are the ones who have adopted that. But the native uh, cables are a lot less clunkier than using uh, the splitters. And for anyone who's afraid of these connectors, it is something to be aware of, but it's largely been under control. Make sure you plug in your connectors all the way. And here's the native cable that ships with this unit. And then we have the Dark Power 13, which is uh, the high end. Uh, power supply that Be Quiet produces, 80 plus titanium rated. This one is, is really made for uh, use in environments where you're definitely gonna be concerned about power consumption. You wanna make sure you have a very reliable unit for long-term use. These do cost uh, significantly more than like the 80 plus gold units over there, which are perfectly great for gaming systems and stuff like that. But if you really wanna go all out and you really wanna have maximum efficiency, the Dark Power 12 previously has been the way to go. Now we have the Dark Power 13. And I wanna say Dark Power just sounds kinda of badass, like this is my Dark Power which I wield over the universe or something like that. Reminds me of Dark Matter for some reason. Anyway, I'm getting distracted yet again. This one is also gonna have largely the same look and feel, chassis, housing design as the Dark Power 12. But again, it has been updated with modular connector, well, it already had modular connectors too, but check that out in the middle. PCI Express 5.0 native support for up to 600 watts of power to be delivered to 
Again, currently NVIDIA 40 series graphics cards. Once again, here's that native cable that uh, ships with the unit and uh, Be Quiet has made sure to make this a high quality cable. Uh, they've used heavier gauge wire to make sure that you have plenty of tolerance for the amount of power that might be passing through it. So if you've been considering uh, investing in something like an RTX 4090, it costs a lot of money, but you probably want to connect it to a high-end power supply, and maybe the Dark Power 13 might be the way to go. So there you have it, guys. It's a pretty mercifully short handful of products that they had to show off for me today, which I was honestly fairly grateful for because it's been a busy day already. But like I said, lots of teasing, lots of wait and see for what's coming for Computex later this year. And I also wanted to quickly point out the launch dates uh, for the new products. The Dark Power 13, the Pure Power 12M, and the Lightwings fans should be arriving around Q2 of this year. Uh, we're looking at April, but possibly some variants there. But that's when you should keep an eye out for these products. I also wanted to quickly show off a couple of the builds they have here in the booth, because that's always a favorite thing I like to do at CES. There's always some really epic builds put together painstakingly to show off the products. So here's a quick look at those. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section down below. But that's all for my time here at Be Quiet. I want to say a big thank you to my sponsors for CES 2023. Cooler Master, Gigabyte, Asus, and Kioxia. I have more videos still to come, so hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>